it is 28 degrees in London today. Yeah, beautiful, but super hot. So I started a new training program, which basically revolves around me doing 10 to 12 workouts a week. Fucking hell. Basically live by a helipad. So there are just fucking helicopters all the time. Yep, yeah, cheers, mate. Usually my training starts on a Monday. I had like a 14 hour day of filming yesterday, which is pretty intense. Because of that, yesterday I was pretty wrecked. So yeah, we're starting today, it's Tuesday. So we're off for a swim now. So yeah, about a 45 minute to an hour session. Let's get it done. An easy 42 lengths. Kind of focus on my technique today. I was using paddles which obviously make training a lot harder. It adds quite a bit of resistance. Yeah, I'm gonna rest for a few hours and yeah, I'll hit chest and triceps in a few hours. I am super burnt at the moment. All right, so I didn't film much of my workout and it's worth mentioning, I've taken a few months off due to tearing my right shoulder. So I've kind of spent the past few months rehabbing and stretching that. Pushing the numbers up slowly, kind of easing my way back in. I've definitely lost quite a bit of strength and weight. In decent shape, mainly from swimming and climbing. Yeah, it's, it's good to be back, sort of training. So, it is 10 a.m. Just swam 64 laps, which is about a mile. So yeah, it's 10 a.m. and we've already walked a mile to the pool, swam a mile and then walked a mile back. Yeah, what she's telling me, about 700 calories burnt today. Yeah, I've still got one more workout today. So yeah, off to a good start. So I started the session doing three sets of 10 pull-ups, which I kind of do every single day. It's a habit I've just created over the years, but really effective way of warming up. And I spent sort of the rest of the session on one boulder problem on the competition wall at my local climbing gym. Yeah, not very exciting, but super fatigued by the end. Yeah, we're definitely making progress. Pretty, pretty good, strong session. So, it's Thursday, feeling pretty ill today. I just really sort of bunged up, blocked nose, uh, felt a little bit sore, like it's not terrible. There's actually been a chapter in Cameron Haynes' book recently, um, Endure, where he talks about like when people get ill, they kind of use it as an excuse to, you know, sit on the couch, go to bed, do nothing, not train, which, you know, that's not him. It's, it's not me, you know, keep hammering. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, that's 50 lengths smashed out in swimming. Quick turnaround, I've got quite a busy afternoon. So I've straight to the gym now to do back and biceps. Set out with a goal of 70 laps today. Considering how ill I feel, we hit 70. So yeah, pretty happy. We've got one more workout to do today, which is climbing. So I will head there in a few hours.
I just finished editing the video together. Uh, and yeah, that's like a typical week for me. Yeah, that would be like a cardio session in the morning and then a strength session at night, whether that be climbing or weightlifting. I kind of mix it up all the time. And I think a big part of my training and, and just sort of keeping on track is staying motivated. I think people stop training or kind of lose their routine because they lose motivation. So I've always kind of got audio books on when I'm walking to the gym or I'm walking to the pool. And I've just done Cameron Haynes, Endure, Can't Hurt Me, Never Finish, uh, The Art of Resilience by Ross Edgley. You know, when I'm not feeling motivated and I kind of listen to these athletes who are achieving these crazy sort of things, whether that's an ultra marathon or swimming around the UK, it kind of forces me to, to be like, you know, if they can do that, then I can do a few lengths in the pool or I can do an hour in the gym. But yeah, hopefully some people can find motivation in this video. It's kind of what I'm into. I just want to motivate people because, you know, being motivated by others is such a big thing for me. I don't know if I'm in a position to give advice because I'm still kind of learning myself. I think just a big part of training and kind of trying to achieve your goals is staying motivated. Whether that's audio books or reading a physical book or podcasts, YouTubers, whatever. I think it's super important for training. So yeah, I'm excited to see where my journey heads next. Let's get it.